Alien Romulus, directed by Fede Alvarez, is the latest entry in the Alien franchise, a franchise which, in my opinion, has two masterpieces and others that are kind of hit and miss. Where does Romulus stack in this franchise? Well, I'd say it's the third best in the series, and it's the kind of movie I've been waiting for all summer long, which is a movie that asks you to buckle up, grab onto something, because you're in for a ride. This is a cinematic roller coaster, and it's a roller coaster I love so much that when I was done, I went back in line and I went on the coaster again. Again. This movie is amazing. So I want to talk about one of my favorite aspects of this movie, which is pacing. And the pacing of this movie is is divine. Like, it is so good. The movie takes its time to introduce its characters, to introduce the world, and then once we get on the Romulus space station, the, the film just kicks into high gear, and it's a thrill to watch. And it all kicks off with the scene that you've seen in the trailers, which is the, there's something in the fucking water! Everything after that is just like one, one crazy scene after the next, and it gets crazier and crazier, and it's so intense. It's like, that. The, I would say the first hour of this movie is damn near perfect. There are some things that I don't like that happened in the first hour, which we'll talk to in a minute. From a from a pure popcorn entertainment thrill ride, like this movie is unparalleled. I can't think of another movie that's come out this year that has kept me on the edge of my seat like this movie did. And some of you might make fun of me here, and that's fine, you know, have at it. But I swear to God, I'm not joking here. There are moments in the middle of this movie where I had to catch my breath. Like when this movie gets going, it really gets going and it doesn't stop. And that, that was like one of my favorite aspects of this movie. It's like, oh, there's something in the fucking water. And then people are running down hallways. There's a chest bursting scene. The xenomorph gets introduced. You know, people have to sneak through a hallway. Like things keep escalating and escalating. And the scene, the, the movie puts characters in scenes where you're like, how are they going to get out of this? And it's absolutely thrilling. And one of the things that Fede nails here is the look and feel of Alien. Sure, there are call outs to the different movies, but really this is this is a love letter to Alien. They're, the way this movie movie looks, the way the spaceship looks, the way it's filmed, like, there's a lot of callbacks to Alien, just the vibe and the feel of Alien is here and present, and it's and it's a vibe and feel we haven't really got since, you know, arguably Alien 3, and he managed to make the Xenomorph scary again, it's like, we've seen the Xenomorph so many times, like, how do you make this Alien scary again, and I thought he did a pretty damn good job, for a, a small section of this movie, it becomes a monster movie, and, you know, he, he films it in ways where he kind of obscures a xenomorph. It makes the scenes more intense and engaging. However, the film and the latter half kind of turns into action schlock a little bit, but at least when the first xenomorph is introduced, it does treat the xenomorph in a scary aspect, in a scary way, and that was kind of awesome. And we got to talk about the standout of this movie, which is the character Andy. I'm not going to say much about Andy, but I will just say that, oh my god, like, this may be one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. Like, he is incredible, and his range, like, you know, Andy goes through a transformation about, you know, 30 minutes into the movie, and it's like the way the movie kind of treats him like a character that we care about and we're like, oh, I like Andy. And then Andy kind of becomes, you know, I wouldn't say a dick, but he becomes untrustworthy for most of this movie. And you're like, I don't trust that son of a bitch. I used to like him, but now I don't trust him. And then he kind of comes back at the end. Like Andy is easily the standout of this movie. And that's not to say that the other cast is bad. Like I thought the cast was great. I, I love the idea that, you know, this is a young cast that we've never seen before and they're like their banter and their energy in this movie like completely works like they were awesome to watch I've seen people complain that like oh there's no character development I don't care and it's like yeah that is true but like not, you know, Alien didn't have character development either. Like, we don't know who the fuck Dallas is or who Ripley is, really. We have, like, small personality traits we can put to them. But other than that, like, do we know where Dallas came from? Do we know if he has any siblings? What is What his goals and aspirations are? It's like, no. Alien doesn't give a fuck about character development, and neither does this movie. I think Kaylee Spana here is also, you know, a standout. She's our protagonist. She's, she's courageous. She's bold. She's, you know, empathetic. When she needs to be 
become an action star, she becomes an action star. Like, I thought she nailed it too. But again, I do think Andy was the star here. Then we get the infamous third act. The, the, the thing that people cannot stop talking about. You know, a sequence that was going to split audiences. You know, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Actually, I wouldn't even say call it the third act. Like, it's just like the last 10 minutes. You know, I'll be honest. The first viewing I had of this movie, I did not enjoy the last 10 minutes. I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, this is this is way too wild for me. Like, you are you are in left field now. You were you were going down, you know, you're going down cuckoo town right now. So after my first viewing, that last 10 minutes kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. But when I went back and watched it for the second time, you know, knowing what's going to happen, I actually kind of warmed up to the last 10 minutes of this movie. It is it is gonzo. It is fucking insane. But I actually kind of dug it the second time around. So to me, after my second viewing, I'm I'm in the camp that I actually liked the last 10 minutes of this movie, but I can completely understand and I'm completely sympathetic to anyone who doesn't because like I said, this movie swings for the fences and does something new and weird. Yeah, if you didn't like it, I totally get it. But for me, you know, the second time I watched it, I thought it was pretty cool. So one of the things I didn't like about this movie is that, you know, I've, you know, I've been praising this movie for its first hour, how it's, you know, a popcorn thrill ride. About an hour into the movie, the our characters go into a lab and there's an exposition dump and then everything after that kind of the movie kind of just turns into an action movie and to me the, those action scenes I just found to be less interesting than what came before it it's not that it's bad or anything I'm not saying that it sucks it's stupid those set pieces are terrible I'm not saying that I'm just saying that like you know boom boom pow pow like that kind of stuff just it became less interesting what was so good in the first hour is that the movie put the characters in, in tense situations and it kept escalating and escalating but when the movie transitions into action it's just pow pow bang bang and again i just found it to be less interesting and less thrilling and the other thing i really didn't like about this movie is that i'm gonna i'm gonna tread lightly here but let's just say a character shows up early on in the movie and the way that this character is handled i thought was you know for lack of a better word bullshit it's like come on man you could have handled this in a different way it's just like and i thought they were like when this character is introduced or revealed I should say the movie for the first couple frames it's like kind of obscure this character is in shadow and it's like okay I know who that is already and it's cool that you're going to treat it this way and then out of nowhere it's like boom close up and it's like oh no so yeah that that character's you know inclusion of this movie or at least I don't mind that this character is included I just feel like th the way they went about it was very off-putting and it took me out of the movie every time this person was on screen so I, I did not buy that at all. It's like, dude, you could have, there's so many different avenues you could have went to, to make this happen and you went with the worst way to do it. I, and I'm wondering if like that was a studio mandate, you know, it just feels weird that like the whole movie, the Fede has this love letter to Alien and then like he treats this character this way. It just seems a little off to me. So I'm wondering if this is like a studio interference kind of thing, but who knows? We'll never know. Overall, man, Alien Romulus is th some of the most fun I've had this year and it's it's definitely my favorite movie of the summer it's the third best in the series it's not quite you know it's not quite alien perfection like i said i wish the action stuff that happens later on was a little bit more thrilling and i wish that that character you know that i just talked about wasn't treated in the way that it was treated but overall man like this is just a fun thrill ride like i keep saying it's a roller coaster and i'm going to keep beating it over your head this film is a cinematic roller coaster and it's so much fun it is so much fun so yeah did you see alien ramas did you like it did you not like it um you know let me know what you thought of the third act you know that that is a, a batshit crazy third act so it'd be it'd be kind of cool to hear you guys' thoughts on on what you thought about that third act again not the third act. i keep saying the third act i guess that's an easy way to say it but last 10 minutes i'll say let me know what you thought about the last 10 minutes and you know what i'm talking about anyways thank you for watching and uh i will see you on the next one